woman I have fallen in love with, but enough of my personal stuff. She's from, um, she's a DK Cajun, born in Lafayette, Louisiana, one of my favorite towns, and raised in New Orleans. Give it up for Margo. I had a different language too. I made a great impression. My grandma died and I went to her funeral and at her funeral I played DJ on the funeral home's intercom system. Shake your booty, shake your booty. Guess who was not shaken? Grandma. It probably didn't help either that I was wearing a t-shirt that said, easy come, easy go. <laughs> I recently shook my family tree, and guess what fell out? Nuts. <laughs> Thank God for friends. I have a friend who recently moved to the country, and they do things there a little different too. We get drunk in the city in bars and wake up with butterfly tattoos. They get drunk in the country in cow pastures and wake up with ball bar tattoos with no ink. <laughs> Jeff Foxworthy has a name for them folks. Speaking about rednecks, I recently went fishing with a buddy of mine and you know your friend's a redneck when his rowboat is pimped out like a bass boat. <laughs> I was sitting three feet off the deck on a chair with this much water on either side of the chair. I caught my first fish. I got so excited. I jumped up. No deck. Splash! Oh. <laughs> Being pulled out of the water by the back of your britches gives a whole new meaning to the word wedgie. <laughs> he caught the biggest fish that day, a beautiful large mouth blood. <laughs> moments. I don't use a GPS. It is way too technical. I call 911 for direction. <laughs> and you know what makes me mad is when I call and they say, can you hold please? I get a three car pile up. Hell no, I got an emergency too. I need to find my hairdresser. <laughs> You ladies can relate to this. Bad hair days. It's a bad hair day when your hair can predict the weather before the weatherman can. <laughs> Take today, for example. Partly cloudy, partly sunny. <laughs> When you go to meet your best friend for lunch, and the moment she sees you, she falls on the floor laughing hysterically. It's a bad hair day when you just get your hair done and you go home and your husband says, when are you gonna go see your hairdresser? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for my cell phone today, I lost it. Couldn't find it. I'm hollering, where's my cell phone? Where's my cell phone? And all of a sudden I hear my friend say, you're talking on it, Blondie. <laughs> I had to turn 40 to break my first bone. And after explaining to the doctor how I did it, 
he looked up and he said, how am I supposed to write this on the accident report? Crazy woman riding grocery cart basket. <laughs> I was thinking karaoke the other night and I was hitting every note and I see my friends laughing and clapping. I get off stage and said, was I that good? They said yes. Next time tell the DJ to turn the microphone on. <laughs> Companies are taking blind jokes to the extreme in marketing their products. I bought a pair of sneakers the other day, and it came with a CD on how to use sneakers. I said, well, I broke my foot because I didn't have instructions on how to ride a grocery cart basket. So I watched the CD, and it says, how to avoid injuries warm up. Staying with feet parallel, at hip distance apart, roll your pods, once balance, lift the leg. It sort of sounds like a dog training video. <laughs> balance, boy, yep, yeah. lift the leg, fire hydrant. <laughs> I've been hearing birds day and night in my hallway. Chirp, chirp. Couldn't figure it out. I did big holes in the sheetrock looking for them bunnies. <laughs> Still couldn't find. So I called my buddies at 911. <laughs> Can you send out animal control? Guess what? They found that culprit. They changed the batteries of my smoke. <laughs>